What's up, guys? I got to show you what Billy and the Wizard have been up to. Uh, Billy's been wrenching on this Yamaha RD400 Daytona Special. This is something we've been working on literally for, well, since Ricerama last year. We bought this at Ricerama. They took it right down to the frame. Uh, had the engine completely rebuilt up by Jeff Casting of All Sport Cycles. Uh, rebuilt from the crank up. Uh, new pistons, rings, board, head gasket, base gasket. The carbs were rebuilt. Uh, the chambers were sandblasted and repainted. Uh, brand new clutch, uh, $2,100 service ticket just on rebuilding the motor. And uh, we had uh, the gas tank professionally repainted with new graphics on it. And a uh, brand new set of Superbike bars has 8,000 original miles on it. Uh, new grips, new levers, just a stunning piece. Not much left to do. Billy just put the new chain on it. We are gonna replace this rear tire. This is a 350 by 18. Uh, Billy, uh, you did the seat cover on this too, right? Yeah, sure did, yeah. Just beautiful. Nice job, man. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice uh, seat pan. And you're, gi you're giving Brian's upholstery a run for his money, man. <laughs> I'd love to do that. And uh, the tires here, what do you got here for tires? Yeah, we got some IRC tires. You know, th those are um, going to puff out a little bit when they get on the rim and look like they, they're suitable for the bike. One of my all-time favorite Yamahas. You guys know I'm a Yamaha freak. I had one of these when I was a kid absolute hoot of a bike and probably one of the most fun two-stroke street bikes you could ever ride they're pretty much bulletproof and with the chambers on it's going to sound awesome so i bought two of these new at the dealer did you really the first one i bought my buddy asked me if he could ride it he told him with, with 100 miles on it so and he's not your buddy anymore huh <laughs> with, with friends like that you don't need enemies as far as i'm concerned I took my daytona and wrecked it but i love these bikes guys guys remember the can-am yesterday oh you hear angels singing? This is the Jimmy Ellis replica Can Am 250, one of the first to be imported to the United States from Canada. Very low serial number on it. I think it's in one of the first 50 bikes to come over. This is a 1974 AMA MX and Supercross national champion by none other than the, the Cobalt Captain. Co he grew up in Cobalt, Connecticut, C O B A L T, so they called him the Cobalt Captain. These things are nasty. Case read induction engine. Very, very low hour bike. This had the, has the original tires on it. And um, are we putting new tires on this, uh, Wizard? What, what are you doing to this thing? I'd say you started nine, 952s or I think we're putting new tires on, are we? Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if we had so. decided or whether we're going to leave it with original tires to prove the originality. But Shane's got some Kenda Classics he's using too. Brand new uh, paint job on this thing. This was, this, this was done by our in house painter. He has a, uh, we don't have a paint booth here, so we, he brings it to his friend's paint shop and does the painting work, paint work there. But Nick painted this. Nick Giorana did an awesome freaking job. He did both these both of these can amps and he did the RD 400. He's also a world class airbrush artist, so he can do some like really bizarre, kick ass um, artwork of skulls and dragons, whatever you want. Uh, so this is a little bit below his pay grade, but man, he can lay down a slick paint job too. So we're glad to have him on the team. Over here, what, what do you got going on, Wizard? This is the 95 CR500. And uh, you've got new fork bushings going in it and new, new fork seals. Bushing, seals, dust covers, and uh, oil, uh, freshen up the front forks, and a new hoop, or a, a newer hoop, a, yeah, a good hoop. The other one was this is, yeah, yeah, we had in stock a mint Honda. There's a date code on this rim, too, for the year of it. I think it's a few years newer. Yeah, it's a newer rim. A newer a, rim. What year is this one again? This is a 95. 95 CR500. Yeah, this one's and, a 97 rim. 97 original Honda OEM rim. Yeah. Rim nice and straight, no dings in it. The rim he took off had a, had a, a dent in it, and I couldn't, I mean, this, is, this thing is so beautiful, it was worthy of putting a new um, rim on it and lacing it up with new spokes. Uh, Hoosier tire on the rear, new chains and sprockets, FMF Power Core 2, just an absolutely stunning, completely rebuilt from the crank up CR500 with a nice frame on it, which is the, uh, the foundation and tons of goodies. More on that one later. This is like CR500 Central here. Uh, my CR500 is ready for the Appalachian Moto Jam. Stay tuned. We're going up to Appalachian Moto Jam. I'm going to do the snow hill climb with this thing this weekend. It's got the studded tires on there. And... Um, what else do we have to do to this to get it ready for the race? I just changed the gear move to the air filter. What about the jetting? Can you go a little fatter on it? It's supposed to be 60 degrees, but up there in the mountain, I'm not sure. I think I want to bump it up a little bit. Maybe a couple of sizes on the main jet. This thing, keep it safe. This bike smoked over 25 other Hot Rod 500s in the uh, um, 500 shootout. It's got some really cool uh, stuff on it, like the hydraulic clutch and uh, special ignition. Uh, special clutch exhaust, special porting, factory connection suspension, 
um, Takasaga XL rims. Uh, she's she's not as much of a looker as Kenny's 150 hour custom nut and bolt CR500, but this is one. Wave rotors, both of them have wave rotors. Yep, yeah, the big big wave rotors on there. Junior's got the Olin's on his and the Olin shock that's going on it. As soon as Wizard gets a can come up for air, then of course my Cap, Kaplan America CR500. Um, this thing is just off the hook. So definitely got some nice CR500s here. Uh, they are um, pretty much ready to rumble. I'm looking forward to taking us to the race this weekend. So it's supposed to be 60 on Sunday. Well, we might be. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna have a snow hill climb, but this is up yeah. in the mountains. So it, you know, yeah, hopefully Monticello, New York. What do you think, Bill? You think there'll be snow up there? Slushy? Yeah, it'll be fun. You've yeah. got plenty of traction right there. Well, I'm going to go send it. Hopefully, it'll do well. Stay tuned. We'll have some good footage coming from that. That's this Sunday, Monticello, New York, Appalachian Moto Gym. Uh, I'm going to go up there and give it my, my damnedest, and uh, hopefully, it'll do okay. So, stay tuned. Wizard, Wizard's really good at suspension. You may not know this, but um, back in the day, he used to do the suspension for world record jump holder, Doug Danger, on his CR500. What, what year was that that he used to do Doug stuff? 91. That was like almost 30 years ago. He's still running the same bike. <laughs> 91. Yeah, yeah, next year that'll be 30 years ago. Yeah. And uh, actually, you, you wrenched on his bike when he came to do the uh, yeah, jump the bus here last summer. For Rockstock. For Rockstock. Yep. So uh, he's been doing this suspension work yeah. for 30 years. So he's, he, he can hopefully do this. mentions me in his new book. He better. <laughs> he better. <laughs> if Doug's watching, Doug, you gotta, you gotta hook the wizard up. Yeah. A little promo. So that's about it, folks. Stay tuned. The Daytona 400, we will be testing the CR500 and the Moto Jam this weekend. The boys are getting it done. Stay tuned, and God bless America.